Female sex hormones estrogen Estrogens are in charge of differentiating the female secondary sex characteristics. They are also in charge of controlling the menstrual cycle and facilitating bone growth in women. When they are separated, the creation of progesterone receptors in the uterus increases. This facilitates a series of actions that we'll explain later. Estrogens also participate in metabolic and cardiovascular functions, since they retain sodium, salt, and water. The retention of sodium has consequences in women with menopause since, being so absorbent, they can cause loss of bone mass. Due to this, many women need to seek hormone therapy. When a person undergoes treatment with a high dose of estrogens, these sex hormones act as contraceptives, in addition to lowering glucose tolerance, increasing production of coagulation factors and plasminogen and decreasing production of prothrombin-3, which increases the risk of blood clots increasing the production of renin and angiotensin, and helping the release of aldosterone. You should keep an eye on your blood pressure, since its value can change due to these factors. You might be interested in 4 easy tips to boost fertility. Progestogens or gestagens as we mentioned before, the release of estrogens immediately causes the number of progesterone receptors to increase, which facilitates interaction between the two. When progesterone reaches its receptors, the direct consequence is that it reduces the number of couplings between estrogen and its receptors. This is a good thing, since progesterone helps avoid endometrial hyperplasia. As we mentioned, estrogens are the sexual hormones in charge of female secondary sex characteristics, like the uterus. Due to this, if the estrogens keep up their activity or increase, you can develop endometrial hyperplasia. In this way, the gestagens transform the estrogenic endometrium into a secretory endometrium. On the other hand, progesterone is the sex hormone that prepares the uterus for pregnancy. Thus, when progesterone levels drop, menstruation starts. It also helps breast milk production. Unlike estrogens, this hormone blocks aldosterone receptors. Additionally, during ovulation, it increases the body temperature by 0.5 C, about 0.9 F. Read also, erectile dysfunction, from diagnosis to treatment. Male sex hormones Androgens Male sex hormones facilitate the growth of male sex organs and muscle mass. Androgens have masculinizing effects. They facilitate the development of male genitals and of secondary sex characteristics. On the other hand, synthetic androgens can be used to treat illnesses like Male hypogonadism anemia, they increase the production of erythropoietin in the kidney due to its anabolic action breast carcinoma, in refractory cases and other treatments as an adjuvant anorexia the anabolic action is because they increase the production of proteins, which increases muscle mass. Among the functions of sex hormones we can find the stimulation of sperm production in the seminiferous tubules. In addition, they facilitate maturation of spermidid in the sperm. They also promote the growth of the penis, scrotum, and secretory sexual glands, as well as the testicles. Finally, they increase the growth of pubic hair and libido, that is, sexual desire. 